are you curious on how to incorporate healthy eating habits into your everyday life? In this video, I'll be showing you how to incorporate healthy eating habits into your everyday life. If this is something that interests you, keep watching. and get into this unhealthy eating habits. Fast food is so convenient. We're always on the run, we're always busy. Um, and this is the reason why I'm bringing you this video today because these are simple techniques to add into your everyday life that can help you stay on track with being healthy and make better choices when it comes to the food that you choose to consume and put into your body. So my thought with food and the way that I look at it is that health is wealth. What you put into your body is what you put out into the world. So for me, I want to make sure that I have a balanced diet. I want to make sure that I'm getting in all my greens. I'm making sure that I'm getting in my water. I'm making sure that I'm eating organic and I'm making sure that um, I'm choosing better choices, not only on taste, but on the nutritional value of it and what it's actually doing for my body. Today we'll be going to the store and I'll give you some tips on how to shop on a budget. I'll also be telling you about my journey to veganism. I'll also be giving you some simple tricks on how to use these techniques and tips into your everyday life. So I started healthy eating uh, probably eight years ago. I met a lady while I was waitressing at Piccadilly and she basically mentioned a documentary on how the chickens were being fed and how they were being treated in the different slaughterhouses. At the time I ate chicken and the only beef I ate was oxtail and that wasn't too often so for me the first step was for me to remove beef from my diet once i removed beef chicken was a little bit harder for me to remove from my diet because it was something that i grew up on it was something that i ate a lot and it was something that i really enjoyed eating but watching those videos learning more reading more researching more i decided to uh, cut out chicken out of my diet and that was about uh, seven years ago so at the time I was a pescatarian and I only ate fish I still ate eggs and dairy at the time years passed and I ate that way for quite a while and then up to about five years ago I did a cleanse a Dr. Sebi cleanse and I did the alkaline diet and I did that for 30 days. At that point, creating that discipline and removing uh, a lot of things from my diet and going by the strict alkaline diet, I, it was easy for me to transition to veganism afterwards because I was able to eat way more just being vegan because an alkaline diet is way beyond just veganism. So after I finished my cleanse, the Dr. Dave Sebi Alkaline Cleanse, I then incorporated vegan lifestyle. And from then I've been eating a vegan lifestyle. I haven't eaten any dairy since, I don't eat eggs. And the most that I'll do is go back and forth with um, fish. I do go back and forth with fish and I only eat wild caught fish if I do have fish. But for the most part, I still try to incorporate a lifestyle full of vegetables and healthy organic fruits. All right, so let's go to the store and I'll show you how to shop for healthier options. We're going to go to my local Walmart and I'll show you the things that I pick up and incorporate in my diet and some meat options that may be good for you to pick.
Okay, so we're back home from the grocery store and these are the things, and let me go through them really quickly because I did show you while I was there. For me, it is extremely important to incorporate greens into my diet. One way for me to get greens into my diet is to eat salads. This is the organic spinach and spring mix that I purchased from Walmart. And I also incorporate greens by adding kale. Kale is one of my favorite dark green leafy vegetables that I like to incorporate, but you can also do spinach, turnip greens, you can do mustard greens, and you can also do collards. So it's all up to you and what you prefer and what you like. I also bought these things to add to my salad, which is just like a mixture, just to liven it up and, and give it some color. So I'll add that to the kale salad with the spinach and spring mix, um, just to have a different mixture of greens and to incorporate that in my diet. Next, I want to talk about a green that I add to my smoothies and my protein shakes. And this is just to make sure if I'm not eating my greens, I'm getting it by drinking it. It's from a brand called Amazing Grass and it's a green superfood. This is basically two full servings of fruits and vegetables in one scoop. And let me show you what the scoop look like. It's very small, it's not really big. You scoop that out, add it to your smoothie, and you're gonna be getting all your greens. So this contains wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa, spirulina, chlorella, broccoli, spinach, beetroot, carrot, pineapple, acai berry, and maca root, and some other uh, fruits too. So this is really, really good to add to your smoothies. I use this every day. The next thing I wanna talk about is um, organic fruits and vegetables. So in order for me to make my smoothies, I use organic, uh, organic banana for my protein shakes, which is also vegan, um, a vegan protein mixture. I also add frozen organic fruits to my, my smoothie as well so here is one that i use this is just fresh blueberries that are frozen i get a variety of different fruits to add this right here is from costco and it is a organic super smoothie this has blueberries strawberry raspberry kale spinach and bananas i like this particular uh, mixture because it comes in these individually packaged bags which makes it super easy for me to make my smoothies on the go. Throw it into my Nutribullet, uh, add a scoop of my greens, add any sweetener if you choose, and it's ready in like two seconds. So that's why I prefer to get these prepackaged bags. Next, I wanna talk about incorporating just regular fruits into your diet. So according to Dr. Savy, the best time to eat your fruits is to break your fast. So first thing in the morning, you'll have a glass of water and then you'll eat fruits for breakfast. And this is how you get your day started and you maintain an alkaline environment in your body. So for me, I picked up some kiwi. And I, of course I have my banana, organic. I also picked up some oranges because I really love oranges. These aren't organic. So if you can't afford organic, if you can't find organic, it's better to eat fruits than to not eat them at all. The next thing I wanna talk about is incorporating a nut milk into your diet. So as I transitioned from drinking cow's milk, I then transitioned into drinking nut milk. So you have the options of almond milk, coconut milk, walnut milk, hemp milk, oat milk. But for me, I like coconut milk. I am obsessed with coconut. I love coconut, everything coconut, coconut water, coconut jelly, just everything coconut. So this is the unsweetened version, silk coconut milk. I use this and I add this to my protein shakes. And I also use this if I eat cereal, if I was to make a shake or a smoothie when I wanted to have like a milk, creamy milk base, this is what I use. Okay, so we talked about all the healthy things that I may incorporate into my diet. Now, so if you're craving junk or you're craving something sweet, 
I've given you two options to incorporate into your diet that is great for a little snack. I do have a sweet tooth, but I don't try to eat sugar often. So when I do have a craving, like for example, for ice cream, this is a great brand. This is the Ben & Jerry's non-dairy ice cream. I got two. This is the fudge brownie, which is <laughs> to die for. These are made with almond milk, by the way. This is the fudge brownie, and this one is the PB and cookies. So peanut butter and cookies. Oh, to die for to die for these are so good i love this brand in particular because it's super creamy the almond milk tastes really good in it it's just a great brand overall for a better option if you're looking for something sweet these are really good if you're looking for an option for a salty crunchy if you like to eat chips this is great these are the simply organic um blue chips from Tostitos and this is certified organic as well. This literally has three ingredients. Organic blue corn, organic expeller press sunflower oil, and sea salt. So with, rule of thumb when you're looking at ingredients, less is more. So the, you want to be able to read the label one. You want to be able to read all the ingredients and two, the least amount of ingredients means that it's better for you. So just use that as a rule of thumb when you're shopping in the stores. You want to get items that don't have plenty of fillers and fluff and a whole bunch of things that you can't read on the ingredient list. So hummus, guacamole, salsa are great options to pair with the blue corn chips or you can eat them by themselves but they're really good paired with hummus and guacamole for me. The next tip I have for you is adding vegetables and fresh greens to your food. So when you cook food, you want to make better options. For example, if you're cooking and you're making rice, try cauliflower rice instead. It's really easy to make. You don't need to boil it out like you do rice. All you need to do is steam it or saute it in the pan with a little bit of oil and that is great and an easy alternative to rice. Another thing I like to incorporate is mushrooms. Mushrooms uh, create a texture like meat um, and it's super good for you and it also is alkaline. So I love to add mushrooms into my dishes that I cook. Another thing is cauliflower. If you haven't heard about cauliflower wings, then I recommend you try it out. I love it. You get to put whatever flavors on it. You will take a cauliflower head, chop it up, batter it, fry it or bake it, and toss it into whatever types of sauce you like. This could be buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce, a sweet Asian sauce, whatever you like. My last and final tip for today in this episode is to incorporate uh, supplements. So they have spirulina supplements, they have chlorella supplements, they have wheatgrass supplements. But this one in particular is Norenga. Norenga is good for cleansing each cell of your body from the inside out. This I take twice a day after each meal. So once in the morning after my breakfast and once at night after dinner. And this is great to uh, Bring your body into a healthier lifestyle. So the leaves of the moringa contain essential micro and macronutrients, vitamins, amino acids, chlorophyll, antioxidants, and other nutrients lacking in our daily diet. So the moringa supply nutritional support for the body's own ability to improve energy, endurance, mental clarity, balance hormones, boost immunity, digestion, diuresis, skin clarity, eyesight, relieve occasional constipation, improve sleep, and general well-being. This brand here is Moringa Revealed Leaf Capsules, and there's 120 that comes in this. So this is a month's supply. I love to incorporate this into my diet. It makes me feel great. I always have energy. I, even after working 12 hours, I can get off and still 
work out. I can still make better choices as to what I'm choosing to put in my body and not just go for the quickest, easiest things. So I challenge you to incorporate some of these tips that I give you today into your diet. If you have any questions, make sure you write in the comment section below. I look forward to bringing more videos like this. Let me know some other topics that you would like for me to talk about nutritional wise, spiritual wise, just total wellness. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. I had so much fun making this video and I hope to bring more nutritional videos to you soon. Until then, please remember, change starts in your mind, you change your mind, and you change your whole entire life. I appreciate each and every one of you watching, and I want to thank every one of you that have subscribed. I have reached halfway to my goal with 500 subscribers, and I am so, so, so grateful for you. It's been a great few months starting my YouTube channel. I am so passionate about it and I look forward to bringing you guys more videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you next week.